Hi everybody, this is Jessie from Literary Gladiators and today I'm going to do a quick review of the first book of The Hunger Games. Um, again, this is a book that I read a little bit earlier on in the year. Um, I just hadn't gotten a chance to really talk about it yet. Um, this has kind of been on my list um, to read. It's a young adult book. Um, I am one of those people who really did enjoy the movies um, as they were coming out, so I did stay on top of that. Um, and it's just kind of been, you know, uh, on my list to read them uh, since I've seen the movies anyways I'm, a, I'm definitely a big you know movie to book book to movie kind of person so if you haven't noticed yet um, so I finally read this one a uh, quick read uh, very simple I feel that um, you know the author she really um, she doesn't make things too complicated um, it's an easier read I wouldn't say easy as in there's no depth to it. I feel like the characters do have, you know, quite a bit of um, depth to them. Um, Katniss Everdeen is just so, uh, what's the word? Um, she She's just that heroine um, that, you know, you really look for uh, in a young adult book, um, especially one that, you know, has, you know, a, a positive uh, female role model. Um, she stands up for what she believes in. She does what she has to. She cares about her family. She tries to provide. Um, she's she's really you know a great uh, a, a great main character. Um, I'm looking forward to reading the other books when I have some time. Um, but as far as Hunger Games go, the it's it's a great opening book. I don't feel like I'm missing anything because I haven't read the other two. Um, if you only read this one, I'm sure you'll be you know, plenty satisfied with how, um, you know, how it, uh, how it ends. It doesn't really leave you like with a cliffhanger where you feel like you have to move on to the next one, but it also engages you enough to where you would want to read the next one when you got the chance, which is kind of how I feel. Um, I, again, it's kind of obvious that it's a, uh, you know, young adult read, um, cause it does have a bit of, uh, uh, I guess like an immature philosophy behind it in a sort of way. Um, but you know, that's what I always kind of liked about young adult books, you know, the innocence of how we think, you know, the world or how we thought the world was simpler than it actually was. So, um, you know, that kind of gave me a little bit of a, of a chuckle. Like, I'm like, oh no, that's not how the world works, but you know, it does. Um, for the most part, I, I did enjoy it. I believe I gave this four stars on um, Goodreads. It's it's engaging. It's exciting. Um, you know, full of action um, and lots of, you know, twists and turns. Um, I recommend it if you haven't re read it. Um, the movie isn't, doesn't stray too far from the book. So um, if, you know, you're looking for something to watch instead, the movie is okay. Um, but I always encourage reading because reading is much more fun. Um, so guys, this is uh, my quick review of The Hunger Games by Susan Collins. Um, hope you guys read it. And that's everything. Thanks for uh, stopping by, listening to my review, and keep reading.